today's video is five tips on how to get more subscribers and more views on your YouTube channel. So stay tuned. All right, before we get into the five tips, if you haven't seen the previous two videos that I have done on how to start a successful channel, they'll be linked down below. So now let's get into these five tips and I'm gonna bring in Fiona Frills, my daughter who most of you might know. So come on, Fiona. Welcome, Fiona. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. So let's get started on the five tips. So the first tip is watch time. Yeah, watch time is king. <laughs> so what exactly is watch time? It's a good question. So watch time is how long somebody is watching your video. So are they watching it for, let's say, two seconds. You're going to get dinged on that by YouTube. So pretty much what watch time is, like when my mom first told me about watch time, I was kind of confused. I didn't know what it was. So pretty much, let's say somebody watches two seconds into the video and they swipe out. They're like, Egh. so you're going to get dinged on that by YouTube. Right. And pretty much what watch time does is when you search my favorite products, there's a huge list of people who did the video. Those people had amazing watch time that maybe people watched all the way through and they probably are bigger YouTubers, but still, they have to have good watch right, time. Right, so that's what watch time is if you weren't familiar with the term. So the question is how to increase watch time. So it is a pretty big question. So one of the things to think about is from YouTube's research, what are the reasons people are coming to YouTube and watching and subscribing? And they have found there's three things, which are people are coming to get educated, mm -hmm. entertained, or because somebody has recommended a video. Exactly. So think about it for yourself. So that's pretty much why people are coming. So the question is how to get more watch time. And I think it comes down to doing something that you love, mm -hmm. being genuine, and being and good at it. Like people would be like, oh, this is good, but you really have to feel it deep inside. Like, okay, I nailed it. So I mean, Fiona matter. loves loves beauty, makeup, DIYs. Mm -hmm. And I love being goofy, like you guys probably watch my videos, I'm like, I'm super goofy. Yeah. And I actually like, I spend two hours on my goofiness, just planning it. So make sure to plan your videos. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's part of it. And other people might love gaming or music or you have all kinds of things. So, you know, really think about watch time, how engaging you can be, and what you can do to get people to watch your videos more. So tip number two is thumbnail. Your thumbnail is like your mini free ad on YouTube. It's like when you're driving on the highway and you see like a poster board, you're just gonna click on it. Yes, so how do you make your thumbnails more interesting so people wanna watch your video? We're gonna have a lot of links below mm -hmm. about that. A few things to keep in mind are bright colors. You want everything to kind of pop out at you. Right, um, having your face and eye contact mm -hmm. looking, right at, looking you. right at the subscriber or the viewer, showing emotion. If you're using text to make sure you, you are outlining in black or making contrast. So those are some of the few quick ones. And again, there will be links down below that have some great articles on thumbnails. Really put the time into your thumbnails. Tip number three is titles, descriptions, and tags. Titles is what one we're going to focus on, but the same points apply to the other two. So titles are very, very important in YouTube's search engine in terms of how they rank videos. And the key thing to keep in mind is that you want to use key words that are not very competitive. So let's use as an example my funny morning routine. So I was curious, I was like, let me search my funny morning routine. I searched it, there was not exact titles like that. There were people who came up, but they were like, morning routine for school. And they didn't even have funny in the, like, the title. So I was like, I'm gonna do that. So I did it and a week later, I have a little over 10,000 views on it, which. Right, and we're, when we can see that we're ranking very high with those keywords. So most likely if you have a good thumbnail and good tags and everything, people are gonna click on that. Yes. So number four is engaging with your community. Again, YouTube wants to see that there's activity mm -hmm. and engagement on your video. And one of the best ways to do that is to encourage your viewers to comment. To comment. So I like to say in my video, like let's say it's my favorite product video. I want to say like, what is your favorite product? I would totally love to know and I will comment back to you. And then they comment, what is your favorite product? I'm like, that's so cool. I'm going to go actually check that out. And I actually do and sometimes I actually buy it. So yeah, and you, really you definitely, and you also want to comment back 
to your community. Yeah. You want to engage with them and spend the time to do that. And even as your channel grows, you still want, want to, to comment. Do. Fiona is still doing it. We almost are at, what, 27, 28,000? Yeah, and I still do it. We're still commenting. It's very important. YouTube loves to see that, so. Number five is... <laughs> okay. Okay. okay, go for it. Tip number five is collabing. And making friends on YouTube. Mm -hmm. So it's a great way to kind of cross market and be able to grow your views yeah. and subscribers. One of the main things to keep in mind is to work with YouTubers or contact YouTubers that are at about the same level of subscribers. Yeah. Maybe give or take a 20, few percent. Yeah, 20 to 30 percent or somewhere in that range. But, and the other thing is you might want to also follow them on social other, media. So that's where you can contact and you know, DM yeah. each other and so on. And YouTube really encourages doing collaborations. And Fiona has just started to, to really work on collaborations. I work my butt off to do these, but once you've done one, they're like, oh, I'm going to be doing a collab with this person, and you just start to snowball. So. Right, right, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So those are our five tips for getting more views and subscribers on YouTube. And if and you, if you liked, liked it, it, then like it. And comment down below if you guys have any questions for me and my mom to answer. And we're wow. out.